One month, guys. One month left, and the journey is all over. Wow, what a trip. And all I want to say to Katsuhiro Harada is thank you so much. I cannot wait for this game so much. It looks amazing. Incredible. It's probably going to be my favorite Tekken yet. Um, I know there's still a few things that lots of people want that aren't confirmed yet, like, oh, where's Anna? Where's Lei? And I'll admit, I do have a few requests myself. Like, for one, I really want to see a cinematic replay editor. So... <laughs> We can make these really cool fight scenes, like the ones we'll see in story mode and all that. So, <laughs> I figured that'd be pretty cool to just be able to edit replays, change the camera angle, speed up and slow it down, and hide the health gauge and all the other HUD menu stuff. I thought that'd be pretty cool, but um, I'm not expecting that to be in the game. Um, I'm very satisfied with the product, so I will not be disappointed if it's not there. I am very satisfied with what I've seen so far and I'm very excited and I cannot wait to get my hands on it next month. It's a month from today worldwide and I just want to say thank you Harada for the amazing journey to Tekken 7. I can remember exactly where I was. Um, I was under 17 when it was first announced so I was I was still technically not an adult yet, so I was being very a very good boy and obedient to my parents. <laughs> I was following all their rules and stuff, but not really, <laughs> because um, I used to stay up on my computer, iPad, whatever, all the time for hours and then be tired all day the next day. So my parents got sick of it. They started taking all my stuff at night, so I'd actually go to sleep, <laughs> but that didn't stop me. Um, because I would get up, go into the sunroom, and play on the Wii, and get on YouTube on the Wii or whatever, <laughs> and all that. And I don't know what it was, but the exact night Tekken 7 was announced at EVO 2014, I, I had no idea how I knew, I don't know what it was, but that night I was just compelled to type in Tekken 7. And see what came up. And it was there. Like, just a couple hours ago, it was there. Just uploaded. Like, the very day, it was just there. I mean, I it was one of the craziest coincidences I could ever imagine. And now I'm 20. Wow, I was 17 when Tekken 7 was first announced, and now I'm 20. Time flies. <clears throat> um, but anyways... Whoo, what a trip. Uh... So my history with Tekken has been pretty odd, actually. I mean, if you've seen me play Tekken, you'd think, since it's my favorite franchise, and I've been playing the game since before I could even walk or talk or whatever, you'd think I'd be pretty good at it, right? I'm not very good for anyone who's, see who's seen me play Tekken. So I'll tell you the story of how I got into Tekken and how I started playing in my journey through the series. <clears throat> so... When I grew up, we already had a PlayStation 1 and a copy of Tekken and all that kind of stuff. So, I was literally born with a PlayStation and Tekken in my household. That's how I was able to play the series from the start, even though I was born three years after the series started. Like, it started in 1994, and I was born in 1997. So, that explains why I had Tekken. I've been there from the start, even though it's older than me. <laughs> Anyways, um... So, I've played Tekken 1 a lot. It was a huge family game. Uh, I'd always play it with my mom, my dad, my sister, my brothers, and it was really awesome. I mained, I mained Jack and Law. My dad mained Law. My mother mained Michelle. My sister mained Nina. And um, I can't remember who my brothers mained because they were pretty young and didn't play Tekken that much. Um, but yeah, it was... It was mainly only Tekken 1 for the longest time, even though I had gotten a PS2 not too long after, like maybe when I was 7 or 8 I got a PS2, and since I was born in 1997 that was like 2004, 2005, so pretty late into the PS2's lifespan. But still. So, I had no clue there were any more Tekkens. For the longest time, I thought Tekken 1 was just a standalone, a standalone title. Um, but in around 2000, yeah, I was about 10, so 2007, 2008 or something, I remember, we went to this bowling alley, I remember very vividly, and 
um, I had walked past the arcade in the bowling alley, and all of a sudden, really loud, I heard, I heard a voice just shouting, and then I heard it like glass shattering, and that was the Tekken 4 intro when Kazi is holding the gun up to the Tekken 4 soldier's face and yelling at him, and then he just drops the gun and punches him. That's what I was hearing. So after I heard that, I w my ears like perked up. I was like, what was that? I turned my head. And by the time I had turned my head, the screen had faded out. And then all of a sudden it faded in. And there was Heihachi. I mean, I, since I've only seen Tekken 1, I had never seen old Heihachi yet. But I could recognize that hairstyle from anywhere. I knew that was Heihachi. So I was just like, what? And then... And then it just flashed across the screen, Tekken 4. And then I looked up at the arcade, and I saw the title, and it was Tekken 4. And I was like, what? So I played it, and I am I remember I picked Lee Chow Lan first, because he looked like me. <laughs> I was like, hey, Lee's in this game, sweet. Um, so, it's it was crazy. For the longest time, for 10 years of my life, the first 10 years, I thought Tekken was a standalone title. And then I just come across Tekken 4. So I got Tekken 4 on my PlayStation 2 um, not too long after that. And then I started thinking, wait a minute. It took me a bit too long. I admit, it took me a bit too long to put together that, wait, if there's a Tekken 4, then there's a Tekken 3 and Tekken 2 as well. So I went back and played those. I was so excited. I f started falling in love with the series and the story. Like, going from Tekken 1 to Tekken 4 is a pretty drastic change. Like, you see all these characters you know and love, oh, just older, it's all more dramatic and darker, and it's just like, WHAT HAPPENED?! It was a crazy experience. Um, so after that, I got on into all the other games, uh, Tekken 5, Tekken 6, and I was finally all caught up. And I got the tag games as well on the side, and I remember... The day I caught up was the day Tekken 7 was announced. Like, I had finally gotten um, Tekken 6 in 2014 on the Xbox 360, and I was playing that. And then I remember, the day I finished story mode, that night was when Tekken 7 was announced. It, it was like some crazy Destiny type thing. Like, I am destined to just follow the Mishima story forever. But now it's actually coming to a close, and it's really interesting. Like, I was just stuck with that one game for the first half of my life, and now the second half right here, it's been catching up on this long story that I thought only had one part, and it was, whoo, what a trip. And the wait for Tekken 7 has been incredible. It's been hype-inducing, it's been intense, it's been exciting, it's had its high points, it's had its low points. Um, like high points, I remember... When the Jin Kazama and Devil Jin stuff and Josie Rizal and Gigas, they all leaked out. And while I was sad that it was leaked and we couldn't be surprised, I was still excited to see um, these characters returning, as well as the new characters. And another high point was the battling the censorship with the SJWs, complaining about the swimwear. And I was like, no, keep the swimwear. Woohoo! Butts! <laughs> so it was a really fun hype experience. And of course, Akuma. Oh, that reveal trailer. Oh, man, that Faded Retribution reveal trailer. How incredible. I think that was the best character reveal trailer I've ever seen for any video game. Like, hands down. Better than any Smash Bros. character reveal trailer. Just that Akuma reveal. Wow. I, it still makes me tear up every time I watch it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there were a lot of high points, a lot of low points. The low points include just those long breaks where we got no information... Um, there was a low point recently where it was like Roger Jr. or Roger wasn't put in the game because of animal rights activists or something like that. I don't know. The bears are in the game, so I'm, a, I'm unsure what that situation is. But still, it's kind of sad we won't see them in the game. But then again, I don't think they were really anyone's super absolute favorite. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that maimed them, but none that really care if they're in the game or not. Because they're just it's just a weird kangaroo character. Um, so yeah, the... The path to Tekken 7 has been really great. It's been an unbelievably fun, even though the wait has been agonizing, especially with the delay. It was supposed to come early 2017, and now it's coming in June, which is like mid-2017. 
Even though the wait was agonizing and frustrating as it got delayed, even though it was frustrating, I'm still very happy that we're getting it. It'll be totally worth the wait. Thank you, Katsuhiro Harada, for this amazing game. I cannot wait to get my hands on Tekken 7, June 2nd, 2017. I've already pre-ordered it. Um, I'm going to get the Eliza DLC, obviously, and I'm going to buy the Season Pass happily. And I can't wait to see all the DLC, how they support the game in the future. I can't wait to see how the Mishima Saga ends. I'm so excited to see everything Tekken 7 has to offer. I know you worked really hard on it, you and Michael Murray and the entire Tekken Project team. And I'm so excited that you've put so much content into this game. So many characters, so many stages. I love the soundtrack. I love all the customization items. I love the fact that you put the cinematics from the pachinko machines in there. Because I requested that. I requested that and you put it in. That's really awesome. So maybe you'll, maybe you'll take my replay editor suggestion into consideration as DLC? As a DLC mode if it's not already in the game? Maybe you'll do that? Huh? That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really excited for Tekken 7. Can't wait to play it. Thank you, Harada and Michael Murray, for doing a fantastic job. Oh, I'm so excited.